Um, number one, I thought was pretty good. It was like a um, kind of like to, to what, what the category was. was uh, first category was um, like a um, hush puppy kind of with, with cabbage in it mixed, and it was uh, breaded, and it, it was it was it was real good. It had good texture and good flavor. And number two. It was a um, cabbage, tomato mix, kind of like a salad. And, uh, really, really wasn't that good to me. And then the third one was basically the same thing. It had a tomato sauce on it. It was a uh, cabbage uh, mixture. And uh, the last one had a sausage, um, onion, cabbage mixture. It was was good, good flavor. Um, the sausage had sausage meat in it, it was real good. And the last one was um, kind of like a, a cake texture uh, with ham, sausage, and um, had, a, had a little uh, ham and sausage in it. And it was, it was good, good flavor, good texture. Yes, this is our cabbage category, uh, the number one uh, on my plate. Uh, I didn't really care for it because it was hot, very hot. The number two was just really bland. It was just a mixture of tomatoes and rice and cabbage. Uh, number three didn't just have much flavor and it was uh, the cabbage was tough on that one. Number four had like cabbage, onions, and peppers. I really like that one. It's a little spicy, but it was very good. And the last entry, number five, had cabbage and ham and uh, it was very good. Cabbage category, uh, number one, uh, hush puppy type uh, cabbage. I, I liked it. Uh, overall, I liked it. Uh, the other one, uh, number two, uh, again with the tomato and the cabbage and the other items in it. Uh, uh, that was that was good. Uh, the third one uh, was sort of like a case it uh, rolled up cabbage with stuff inside it's hard to get apart uh, to really taste it but the cabbage was tough not tender uh, the fourth one uh, I thought had all the ingredients of the cabbage but it was a little over spicy uh, I really liked the last one uh, in the mixture and uh, the sauce it was in the cabbage and all the other ingredients uh, I, th I thought it was just mild enough uh, tasty enough uh, uh, I gave it my best score I thought number one was was good. It had like an aftertaste to it, uh, maybe vinegar or something. Number two on mine was tough, uh, hard to get through the cabbage. Number three was was really good. It had had good flavor. Number four I thought was was very good. I liked the sausage in it. I thought they did a real good job with the uh, the mixture. And number five to me it seemed like it had too much breadcrumbs or uh, cheese on it. it uh, combination with the cabbage again, with the tomatoes and the sausage. Um, the little BLT number two was very good and the fried green tomato slider was I thought really good. The uh, tomato salad with the blue cheese was good. The only problem with the fifth entry was my dough was a little bit gummy. And uh, the last entry with the steak and the and the tomatoes and, and the mayonnaise, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. I, I could tell that all these cooks put a lot of thought into their dishes. Um, I thought they were good overall. My favorite was probably number two. When I first looked at it, I thought the bacon would overwhelm the tomato, but it didn't. The tomato taste came out really good. The fried green tomato slider on three was good also. Overall, it was a, it was a good bunch of samples. No. I have to agree with what the judge, uh, the first judge. I have to agree with what the first judge said. How about it? Uh, the slider was outstanding. The uh, fried green tomato was great. Uh, the little tomato pie, 
good crust was gooey. But otherwise, I thought it was great entries. I thought the uh, fried green tomato slider was the most unique entry. I thought it was an interesting thing. I would never thought of doing that. Uh, my favorite was the little tomato pie. I'm calling it tomato pie. I really don't know what it is, uh, but that was my favorite. Well, I thought they were all good. The cooks did a lot of <clears throat> hard work. My favorite was uh, the third one, the slider, the fried green. But they, uh, I thought they were all pretty good. Okay. Go. Yeah, uh, I'm Andy Suddeth with R.M. Rose Distillery here in Dillard, Georgia. We produce uh, uh, good corn whiskey uh, on our custom-made copper stills. Uh, I hand handmade them. Um, we are uh, the R.M. Rose Company started in 1867 in Atlanta, Georgia, and closed down during Prohibition in 1917. And uh, in 2016, we opened the company back up and we produce corn whiskeys. Uh, we got our bourbon out this year. Uh, we got other brands coming out. We got the Fire on the Mountain uh, cinnamon whiskey, which has been a good whiskey for us. Uh, we got a peach lemon and it's all doing well. Um, the um, everything we got here is it's all made right here. Everything is produced, uh, mixed, and made at our facility here in Dillard. We got a, our custom made pot. It's a hundred gallon copper steel. Uh, I hand made it, uh, which all the other equipment in here is handmade. Uh, we produce uh, it's a hundred gallon pot, and we produce about. We get about 15 good gallons of good corn whiskey out of this. Uh, it takes about four hours to run it. This is our corn whiskey. Uh, it's, uh, we use uh, uh, bourbon mash. Uh, this was cooked yesterday and you can see the fermentation on it. Uh, it's, uh, it'll take about three more days and it'll be ready to go in the steam. It'll be, this is, we get this about, this is about, be about 12% alcohol in this content here. And when we pump it to the steel, we get anywhere from 12 to 15 gallons of good corn whiskey. And this is a 100-gallon vat, so uh, uh, anywhere 12 to 15 good gallons. Okay, um, overall I thought it was a, a pretty good batch of chicken. Um, number one, number six were uh, it's sort of average, good chicken. Number one had some extra smoke on it, which I thought was good. Um, number two, number three were breast slices, which is you don't see very often. Um, uh, pretty well done, but nothing special. The number three had some extra pieces in the bottom, um, which were kind of tough. Um, number four was my favorite. I thought that was done perfect. Um, number five had some different kind of a rub and different kind of seasonings on it, which was okay, but I didn't. I don't like that sort of flavor on on the chicken. Okay. You know, I turned all those pieces around so you could see them, the, bit, the bites that I took off. <laughs> I'm going to use a pencil to point a piece? or a sure. So number one, um, the, the, while the chicken, the, the flavor was pretty good, it was, it was very dry. Um, number two, 
Um, it was lacking flavor. It, one of the first things they looked for was smoke flavor, and it had no smoke flavor whatsoever. Um, it was also kind of dry as well. It's hard to do breast, but it, it was dry. It's for number three. Number three had a good flavor to it, but it was overcooked. It would, parts of it were a little bit mushy. Number four had a really good profile to it. Um, it was a good piece of chicken. It had the right amount of uh, sauce on it. It also had a good profile. As for number five, um, the, the rub was a little funky. I don't know how else to explain it. It was also very dry. Um, another one of my favorites was the last one, number six. Uh, it was cooked quite well. The flavor profile was good. The rub was good. The sauce was good. And it had a really nice heat to it. Okay, I thought uh, number one was um, okay. It had pretty good flavor, but it was not real, not real tender. And number two was a little bland; didn't have much flavor and um, kind of dry. And the, number three was about the same way, but it did have some sauce on it to give it a little flavor and a little, little tenderness. Number four, I liked. It was probably about the the best one. It was real tender and had good flavor. And number five was okay. It was just a little too spicy for me, but it was tender. And number six was, I think, my best one. It was, it was real good, real tender, had real good flavor. Okay, these ribs, um, as, a, as a group, they all look great in the box. Uh, first rib was kind of dry, kind of tough. Second rib had good flavor, was a little bit overcooked. Third rib was a baby back that, to me, was the more, when I first started out, it tasted fairly good. The more I chewed it, the, the more it wasn't good. Um, the fourth rib was my favorite. Uh, had a great pork flavor, uh, good spice. Uh, cooked really well. Uh, the last four ribs were excellent. In fact, the last two almost were identical to me. Okay, I think I'm pretty much on the same uh, plane as Tom. I really did love number four. Um, I could eat that all day. And the second one on the plate, pretty close to number four and really good. Uh, yeah, the one that's gone on my plate. I thought the first rib, the first and second rib were a little tough. Second one had some good flavor. Third rib was real good. Fourth rib was a little overcooked. Fifth rib I thought was the best one of the bunch. And uh, sixth and seventh rib were just slightly overcooked. They had good flavor, but they were just a little overcooked. Um, I was quite impressed by uh, pretty much every, um, every rib I saw. And I tasted um, one or two were a little bit um, on the chewy side, especially the last two one for me, um, and especially number two had a little bit in the rub a little bit too much cloth clove in there, uh, which overpowers a little bit, and that's you want to want to ease down a bit uh, on that. Yeah. All in all, I thought they were real good ribs. Um, uh, three that I thought were absolutely outstanding. Uh, one I didn't like the flavor on, I believe it was this one, it was a little tough. And this one sort of had a, a strange flavor too, but all in all they were pretty darn good ribs. All in all, uh, the ribs appearance was great uh, for each and every one. Uh, for the most part, all was cooked well and had a good taste. Some uh, being a little uh, more of a tug in the bot process, uh, and some had uh, a little hotter flavor than the others, uh, but for the most part, each uh, was well cooked and tasted very well.
I liked number two and number seven had great tenderness. Um, I think number two is my favorite flavor profile. Uh, number four also had a really good flavor, uh, good look, good texture to it. Uh, yes, out of the uh, seven entries, probably number four was my favorite. It had the best flavor profile and seemed to be the most tender for me. Um, number one had a really hard bark on it. Uh, it was really difficult to even bite through. Um, but all in all, I can't say that any of them were bad. Or, um, but it just I like number four, I think, a little bit better based on the flavor. We had some good pork turn in. I had my second one was uh, fairly bland. Everything was very tender. My overall favorite was the uh, uh, number six. Had a good uh, texture, uh, um, good flavor on the bark, tender all the way through. And overall, uh, there's a couple of them were kind of sweet, but overall everything was very good. favorite because I like the flavor of it. It was cooked well, perfect texture. The least favorite was this one because it was um, dry and tough and there was really no flavor to it. So. I agree. Number five was the best to me. Number three the least and number four probably yeah. as well. Well, I thought number one was rather dry. Number two tasted an awful lot like roast beef. 
number four was excellent, number five was excellent, and number seven was excellent. So we had a pretty good plate. Overall, it was a pretty good uh, entry. Uh, number one was a little dry. Number two, uh, the brown gravy on the top. I wasn't real sure about the taste of that. And my favorite was probably number four, which was real moist and uh, cooked just right, and the burn-in was good. <laughs>